the crypto announcement is it's so again sorry trump supporters but it's trumpian in that it's disorganized it looks sketchy at best and it looks like a scam looks like a total ripoff it feels like trump university you've got people in charge who have been associated with uh, shall we say a checkered history play me the Play me the, the Bloomberg thing first. This will give me the overview. And then we'll play you the actual statement, video, of the guy who is running this entire new Trump crypto venture. Go ahead, Albert. Tell us about last night, what was it, a Twitter Spaces, um, where Donald Trump teamed up with some of his kids. Barron wasn't there. Um, and an interesting figure in the world of crypto. Yeah, so this was billed as like the moment we'd all learn about World Liberty Financial. Trump's been promoting it on Twitter. Don Jr. and Eric, they've been saying this is going to make finance great again, but they haven't really said exactly what it is. And spoiler alert, even after two hours of talking, they didn't quite say last night either. But they did bring out some of their business partners, the guys who seem to have gotten in the Trump son's ear about starting their own crypto venture. One of them, I thought his resume was particularly interesting. His name's Chase Hero, and he calls himself in videos on YouTube the dirtbag of the internet. So I was pretty surprised to see him called up on stage with the with the Trumps last night. So what has Chase Hero done in the past? What brings him to this moment uh, and meeting with the Trump family? So he started off as a weed dealer, went to prison, got out, became a s internet marketer where he sold things like colon cleanses. Most recently, he's had a $149 a month get rich quick class, and he got into crypto. He had a DeFi platform that wasn't particularly successful. He's not like a famous Stop guy in crypto. Stop for a second, Albert. I, I want to go back. Real... It's $190 to get rich. I want to go back to that because I want to get rich quick. It's only $190 a month to get rich quick. Cheap. Cleanses. Most the only recently, problem he's had is a that, uh... Oh, it's 140. And the only problem is that the get rich quick part is what he's doing. He, he's not getting you rich quick. He's getting rich quick on your 149 a month. Go ahead, Albert, please. And dollar a month get rich quick class. And he got into crypto. He had a DeFi platform that wasn't particularly successful. He's not like a famous guy in crypto, but through a real estate developer who's friends with Trump, he got to meet the Trumps. And last night, he and the Trump sons talked about how they get together a lot. They talk about crypto. He's been teaching them how to use DeFi. And the Trump sons apparently wanted to start their own platform. I mean, and it's pretty wild. Like, there's not that many days until the election. And Trump is spending his Monday night promoting, like, a new for-profit venture. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got to make the money, right? Um, apparently, Baron <laughs> Trump doesn't need to be taught about DeFi, right? He's their chief DeFi scientist. What is his title? Yes. Um, so I've seen a draft white paper for the project. He's listed as chief DeFi visionary. He's 18 years old. Visionary. He just started his freshman year at NYU. It seemed like they were hoping he'd show up for the spaces last night, but maybe he had an early class this morning, so he didn't, he didn't call in. I see. So Baron wasn't there, but Don Jr. and Eric were there. Was Chase Hero also on the X uh, call? Yeah, Chase was there. Um, he didn't give too many details, but they were seemed to be aware of our story, pointing out his resume. They talked a little bit about like the fake news, and Don Jr. said about Chase, um, "This is like one of the smartest guys I've met," and he said that. If you brought him into a boardroom at Goldman Sachs, he'd blow everybody there away, um, which was pretty wild to Only hear. Only he would never be allowed into a board meeting no. at Goldman Sachs. That's the problem. But if you could get him in somehow, like in a disguise, he would blow everybody away. They'd this be blown the away because they'd wonder how the F did this guy get in here? He is so completely full of S. Uh, They're talking Albert, about the same guy that was selling colon cleanses right before this, right? Well, colon yeah. cleanses, uh, get rich, and also he'd serve time for dealing weed. Here is the uh, here he is. We have a piece of video on him. Uh, he was played uh, down Chase on MS. Go ahead. Hero, yeah. Trump's business partner. Please listen. You can literally sell in the can, wrapped in piss, covered in human skin for a billion dollars if the story's right. Because people will buy it. And that is what is going on in the crypto space. And like I said by the video, I'm not going to question the 
the right and wrong of all that. All I'm saying is, as a human being, you have the ability to make a ton of money right now. Well, that's Sounds great. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's always good to know that you've got a the chance to win an f ton of uh, money to to Ooh, to, to it's earn a wild it. idea, but it just might work. And just by defrauding a few people out. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Some Kim. people I'm... speak with confidence, and so they're taken seriously. I I don't understand how you could listen to that and then go, "That's the guy I want to lead my crypto company." Yeah, that was uh, truly revealing. On another level, I would say. That was so over the top that it, it, it makes the Trump con seem almost um, credible. You know, I mean, it's he's but he's part of that new brash. I'm a rebel. And let me talk smack to the institutions of finance, the institutions of government. People are sparking to that. It particularly works with younger people. It's like, let me tell you, you know, we've got to take it to government institutions, we've got to take it to financial institutions, it's time to think outside the box, it's time to bring on the rebellion. The rebellion is associated with, you know, again, transactions on the blockchain as opposed to transactions in the traditional banking institutions. So what this Trump thing is, if you can't figure it out yet, I'll just give it to you in 10 seconds or less. Uh, essentially, it's a platform on which you can trade your crypto. So they will get a little piece of every trade. I think that's essentially how they're setting up. It's not so different than, um, well, who was the scam artist, the Bankman Freed, right? Who had the, um, uh, what was the name of his uh, platform? Uh, Commission, it's all over, uh, you know, uh, anybody? No, no one on Sam Bankman Freed's, um, his platform? Seriously? Isn't it FTX? Thank you. Yeah. FTX, yeah. Albert. Very, FTX. very well done. FTX. Yeah. He's <laughs> a fast Googler, that Albert. Yeah, really. Very well done. Gosh, I thought it would have been. Uh, FTS. Okay. FTS or is it FTX? FTX. Um, FTX. 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 That's an X ray. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so, anyway, that's the latest on the, the latest venture. I mean, if you can't make some money in some way, uh, the Trumps view everything as a money-making uh, venture. Um, and by the way, even if it was a legit money-making venture, it would be still sketchy because you're supposed to be involved in what is a general walk toward public service. Mm -hmm. So public service is generally associated with things that are not designed to line your pockets. They're designed to help others and help the public at large. So even if it were legit, yeah, but, but this doesn't, again, necessarily look as though it is so, so legit. But, you know, for all we know, it, it is. It just seems as though there are a lot of people with uh, questionable, less than legit histories who are uh, associated with it. Hi, it's Mark, and I thought that was great. Hit the notification bell, you'll know whenever there's a new video being dropped, and please subscribe to our channel to help us save the universe.